Hey YouTube, Troy Stewart here. So, this is my second video for this channel. Surprisingly enough, it's another unboxing, sort of unbagging video, to be specific. Uh, I just went to Bass Pro, and they're supposed to be having their new spring sale, but I didn't really look, read through that well. Read through the magazine that they sent out, and I didn't realize it started next weekend, not this weekend. But I still managed to spend a bunch of money. First lore I got is a Bandit. This is the 100 series. 1D67. This is the metal flake shad. I like it kind of for dirty water. It's got kind of like a chartreuse belly and it's got kind of like the holographic, shiny kind of sides. Uh, I'm not. I'm, I don't know. I've never really used the square bills of Bandit. I've always liked the lures, but I've never really used the square bills. I had one that was an older one from my dad, and he it always ran straight and it was really good until I chipped the bill when I was practicing uh, on a rocky, rocky kind of dam type area. But uh, I also got, even though most people don't like Bass Pro brand, uh, I never really liked them that much, but then I started using these. These are the Bass Pro Sher Series Shallow Cranks. Uh, this is like 5 16 pounds, 2 to 4 foot diving. It's a 2 inch little lure. Uh, it's really interesting. They're, they're pretty small. They're It's more of like a little bit of an ultralight kind of lure, but they do have this big bill. This is more of like a summertime kind of bait. They were on sale, so I did pick up two, but I like it because it has a really wide wobble and it deflects like really well. Mo I'll, usually, I don't like to buy Bass Pro brand, not because I don't like them, but because I I just haven't really had too much luck with quality. But it seems like they're coming out with some new good products. This is more like a shiny side, olive back kind of color. I also have the same one in a bluegill pattern, uh, same bill and everything. It's got kind of like a green back orange cheeks. It's a little bit holographic. You can see a little bit into the sides. But I'm using this more around like wood cover, woodier lakes around here. They had a huge Lucky Craft sale. So, and it was like uh, most Lucky Crafts that were like usually 15 bucks or like 10 bucks or something like that. So I picked up three different ones. This is a RTO 1.5 DD. Uh, the guy who make these, I, makes these, uh, I can never say his name right, so I'm not even going to try. He's actually coming to our Bass Pro, this or not the guy who makes them, the guy who designed them. He's coming to our Bass Pro, not this weekend, but next weekend when the actual sale starts. And I, I want to have him like autograph a picture or something. But this is a really interesting color. Uh, they don't really say the colors on here. On this, Actually, this is Disco. Hey, this they do say them. But, um... Uh, this this I like this color a lot. Uh, I've never really tried it. I just saw it today. It's got kind of like a goldish cheek, goldish stripe down the back, and it's got kind of gold slash red orange stripes on the side. That's a really unique color. Uh, I I can't say that I didn't buy it just for the color, but I also can't say that's the only reason I bought it. Uh, I, I think this is gonna be a good color for like spawning, kind of post spawn, pre spawn, when they're moving deeper, kind of like a. Uh, crawfish. I also got the RTO 2.0, same uh, brand, the Lovecraft. This is like a bluegill color. This is a uh, red eye, is the color. This is like a perfect bluegill imitator. And the these these things, I've never had a problem with these Lucky Crafts. They they've always run true and run right. Uh, now I got one last one of the. Lucky Crafts, this is an RTO 2.0. Uh, they are silent. I did notice that. Uh, I'm not too big of a fan of silent, simply because most of the lakes around here are dirtier water. But, I have had luck on silent, and I will give it a shot. This is an MS Gunmetal Shad. This this color looks a lot like the Bandit. And that's also part kind of the reason I got it. I mean, this is almost the exact same color. I got it so that if I'm pre-fishing for a tournament, I can use this. And if I get this snagged, I lose six bucks. If I get this slack snagged, I, I lose two of these pretty much. I use I lose fifteen. Uh, so, and if I'm losing this, uh, if I'm searching for groups of fish like schooling fish or on wood, and I don't want to lose this, I can always use this. Same color uh, doesn't have the same action, but it shouldn't make too much of a difference. Uh, next on to soft plastics, I got Live Magic Shads. These, 
believe it or not, almost everything I have here is on, on sale except for the Bandit. Uh, this is... Live, these are Live Magic, Magic Shads. This color is called Rainbow Trout, but I don't know how well you guys can tell. There is no pink in that. This looks more like a baby bass to me, but it was two two something, and I like it was like two ninety nine, and I like baby bass colors. They they've always done well for me. I also got that. I only got one in that color. I got another one. This is the tilapia color, kind of like a purplish, goldish kind of sparkle, with like a smoky back kind of color. I got two in that color. They were selling these little things. These are like, I'm pretty sure, yeah, these are Strike Kings. They are pretty much ultralight chatterbaits. They're three, this one doesn't exactly say it because I got the one lure. They didn't say it, but I'm pretty sure they're the 3 16 ounce. I'm going to use these as like an ultralight kind of lure, or especially around docks, because you don't want the lure being really deep. You want it to be right up against the, the uh, styrofoam when you're fishing around docks. I actually haven't taken this out of the package. I might as well. I'm gonna do that right here. I want, I want to see what this thing looks like. The skirt on it looks, yeah. So it has kind of like a sliding thing right here to keep to let it track straight and also have a lot of wobble. Uh, the skirt on this, it'll straighten out a little bit over time, especially if I use it, and it's all like messed up right now, but that's what you want, just that's just what you're gonna get with skirted baits. They're not all gonna be perfect unless they have like unless you get replacement skirts or something. But I I do kinda like that, how it like shoots out everywhere and they're not exactly straight. It will add kinda like a weird effect. It's like an ultralight but the hook's are way back, so it's got like a really far back hook. Uh I'm thinking about putting some one of those like twin tail kind of trailer things. Not the twin tail grubs. It's like twin tail but they're both like straight. It's kind of like two little things like this. I always thought that, I think they'd look really good on this. So this is pretty much just an ultralight, uh, ultralight chatterbait. Uh, I'm gonna use it around docks, like I said. Okay, there's that. Uh, up next, Lake Fork trophy lures. This is the flipper, black neon. This is like a beaver style bait. That's exactly what it is. But the thing I like about these is they have these little undulating things right here. Lake Fork always is really good about motion. And if I'm flipping these around like trees and stuff, these things are going to be like undulating and going back and forth. And you can have like a really, really good action and the bass can not going to be able to resist it. Ooh, and the smell. Man, these things smell great. Uh. Uh, now I got, I only got one of those beavers. I got two of these. I haven't taken these out of the package user either. These are Hy Lake Fork Hyper Worms. They're like, I, I can't even explain these things. These things are awesome looking. They're like a little middle, middle piece, but they have like two undulating tails. They're like segmented on both sides. I can see why they give you 15 of these because these things look like they're fragile. And they're going to have such good action in the fall. I got this mainly for tournaments where they have weird slot limits. And when I'm trying to catch some, just catch a limit fast. It also looks like these look really good around docks because I, I like fishing docks. Some because I know there's going to be bass there. I got one in... Watermelon Red Flake, and then I got another one in June Bug. June Bug's like, everyone probably knows what June Bug is. Uh, then, not last, but close, I have two packs of these culprits. These are one of the only lures that I paid full price for. These are the Increda Slims. And so unlike the Increda Craws, they're a lot thinner. They have weird, their packaging was weird, so I cut it differently so that I could sell this little thing to hang it in my boat if I need to. But what this pretty much is, is like, 
It's got legs. It's got two little like claws here. But then it has these weird things like segments right here. And they have those little curly tails. These have always been. These lures have always been really good for me for like flipping around standing timber. Uh, they're made by culprit, and they come with eight in a package, so three and a half inches. This is the watermelon red, and I also have another one in Okeechobee. Okeechobee is a good color for me, especially because the lakes around here. They go from being like in the, here in uh, Upper Texas near Dallas area. They go from being dirtier water to being like clear, and Okeechobee has like kind of like a uh, watermelon, it's got kind of like a blue on the other side, it, so it adds that like sparkly effect. It's also good for bed fishing because that, that's like a color that's kind of natural and uh, not natural. Next I got Havix. Uh, I also paid full price for these, but they were only like $2.99. Uh, these are hunt money makers. I have seen these in uh, other ads that Bass Pros made and other uh, newspapers, but I've always wanted to always wanted to get my hands on them. These are not scented like the other Berkeley baits, but I thought I think these things with the little like ball designs are gonna have such a good shimmy on the fall. And these things are gonna be a killer. Man, that's pretty cool. I got one of those in watermelon red and I got another one in black red fleck, which is just black with red. So that's that was my unboxing, at least this one. Uh, I'm going to make some more money and go back out on the, when the sale happens and uh, blow some more money then. But it, the total was 80 something dollars. I got a bunch of stuff. Surprisingly enough, I felt like I got robbed because I felt like this should have been like 60 bucks with all the sale prices that I paid. And I checked my receipt and I, I couldn't find anything wrong except for like one thing that, didn't, that I didn't have. But... Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I will be posting more videos up soon, hopefully for that next sale. And then I'll start work focusing on actual informational videos. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you guys next time.